Hi, Cancers. This is Kathy. Welcome to my channel, Kathy Mamelin, Psychic Medium. Welcome to a timeless love reading for my Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and any cross watcher. Today, I'm going to be asking Spirit, how do they feel, the person that you're thinking of? What is going on in this connection? What is it that Spirit wants you to know? Any love messages from your person? So welcome back, everybody. Welcome to anybody that's new. Spirit, please share with me. How do they feel? What is going on? Thoughts and feelings of the person I'm thinking of. I am listening for you now. I have silent feelings, unknown feelings. Are they giving you the silent treatment? Are they holding in feelings that they're not making you aware of? And it's really upsetting you at this point. Like, I need you to tell me what's going on. Poison, okay, is this bad for you? Are you feeling red flags around this person? Is there something interfering with this connection? Spirit just asked, I'm waiting for the right time to make a move. I want to know what's going on in this connection. The last time we saw each other, I was trying to hide my feelings. So yeah, there could be a change. There could be a shift that all of a sudden they're more quiet or they're hold, you feel like they're holding back. And is there something going on with, um, you know, it's some kind of interference? I'm going to ask narcissistic energy. Are they focusing only on themselves and not you? Is that something interfering? I don't know what to say to you. You have me speechless. Now that feels kind of positive. Let's get a couple more positive ones. Let's see what else they're saying. I've been looking for someone to have fun with, no strings attached. So maybe this is getting real for them. And all of a sudden, they don't like the shift in where this is headed, that we're shifting into feelings. We're shifting into, um, I thought we were just having a good time. I like it when you play hard to get. Maybe we liked the teasing. Maybe we liked the energy of this was just casual. And now all of a sudden, you know, somebody wants more. So let's let's get a couple more, just a couple more spirit for clarification. A heartbreaker, you could break my heart. You could be the one that breaks my heart. And some healing old wounds. So I've got someone that has a fear of almost feeling their feelings. You know, there's this this. Ah, oh boy, these are hard ones, you know, fear of rejection, fear of, um, I have feelings for you, um, that I wasn't expecting. Um, I wasn't expecting this, I wasn't expecting to, to, to fall for you, something like that. Um, you know, maybe it started out casual. Maybe we had an understanding that, that that's all it was going to be. And now all of a sudden we have emotions, um, you know, emotions are, are rising, uh, feelings are, feelings are surfacing, you know, it's like you, you can't be with somebody intimately and, and not expect feelings to come out. So if this was a, you know, a relationship where we had an understanding that it was going to be casual, we weren't going to put labels on it. Uh, we might even be seeing other people. Um, it, it's a, it's a message. It's almost this like, yeah, tell that to your heart, <laughs> tell that to your heart, you know? Um, I, I don't know. It, right now, I feel like your heart is saying one thing and your actions and their actions are doing something else. Let's see what the cards are saying. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to anybody that's new. Please uh, remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Comment below. Spirit, tell me about this connection. I have a world entering into a different phase. This connection could be going in a different direction. Maybe we started out as one thing and it's turning into something else. I have a Knight of Pentacles, Nine of Wands. I have a Magician and I have a Queen of Wands. So there's, there's powerful energy coming into me. It's a, it's a powerful passion. I'm going to say it that way. I feel like there's something about you that is opening this person up. Now, there is a part of me that feels like this person maybe has always been a player. <laughs> you know, and this player is now all of a sudden, um, 
I don't know, you've captured them, you know, like you've captured this player and this player is um, no longer a player and they're realizing that their feelings are surfacing and they're so used to being in like a non-committal energy that they are struggling with this. They're saying, you know, like, what have you done to me? What is it about you? Because the your energy is very, very powerful is how I feel. Your energy is like overwhelming them or um, putting an impression on them that they've never had before. So there's something going on. Yeah, two of cups, ace of pentacles. Look at the key. Like you've got the key. You, you're the one. You know, so you you have just captured, you've just captured a player is how I feel. Like the player who always swore they never settled down, the player who always swore that, you know, they'd never be in a relationship or um, it is what it is. And if you don't, if that's not good enough for you, then I'm not going to be the person for you. So you, you definitely have captured a player in, in some way here, like their feelings are coming to the surface. They are realizing that, you know, if I walk away from this, I would be devastated. Um, and they're worried. They're worried about either you walking away or or them walking away. Um, but I don't think they want to walk away. I feel like they it's just they're not used to wanting to stay. They're not used to wanting to be in a connection and actually work at a connection and, and put some time and effort to it. They, they usually just kind of take it or leave it. But you've somehow captured their heart. You have somehow captured their heart. And these feelings are real is how it's coming into me. You know, that that feeling of tell that to your heart energy I had a moment ago. Like, you know, they are being at least smart enough to realize that there's something different about you. And there's something special about you. And you're not like every other person that they have been with. So if they, you always felt like they were a player, you felt like that you know their background, you know their past, whatever it is about you, they, they can't get enough of right now. So there's something going on here. Overthinking can instantly confuse you for no reason. So right now we just want to let this unfold. If those are truly their feelings, you don't want to push this person because this person could very easily be a runner. So you want to you want this person to get there on their own. This is something that they want. This is something they want to put time into. Your absence is hitting me hard right now. When you're not with me, I can feel your absence. OK, when you're not with me, I struggle. So maybe the you're the first person that they want to wake up to. They want to go to bed to. Um, I want to see you every day. I need to see you. I am. Um, I obsess over who you're with or if you're with someone else when I'm not with you. So there could be some obsessing, obsessive thinking going on. Please help me to better understand you. You know, what's going on? Tell me what you're thinking. Because they maybe they've never had these kinds of feelings for somebody before. And maybe we did have some kind of, you know, it's friends with benefits or it's we've been friends for a long time and um, we are sexual together, but we didn't realize there was more going on here. There's more feelings going on here. So something is surfacing. Something has triggered your player to... I want more. I want us to be part of each other's circles. I want us to maybe look like a couple. I want us to start acting like a couple. Maybe they're going to ask you for something more to be exclusive or take this to the next level. Or, you know what? I'm going to refer to you as my significant other, my partner. And this is something that we both want, you know, wanting the same thing at the same time. And, and that's something that I feel like is really, really important, you know, that we want wanting the same thing at the same time. So we want the same thing. We want everything. I guard myself so hard thinking you will hurt me. So I don't want to be hurt. I don't want to have a broken heart. You're the one that that could, you know, could hurt them. Um, coming to an understanding as to what this connection truly is what is this connection? Like, what is it that what we're doing? So 
I have a pretty good idea that the person who thought they just wanted fun and games and I don't want to put a label on anything is moving in the direction of I want more. And now it's all of a sudden, you know, this like, are you kidding me? Like, I never thought we would get there. I never thought this person would settle down. I never thought that they would um, want to be in a more traditional, you know, kind of lifestyle. And I'm going to say that you it's because of you. It's because of you. You're very powerful to them. You're very inspiring. You're very passionate to them. It's because of you they want these things. I have a hammer, sabotaging, rebuilding, persistent, working on it. So hammers can build things up or they can knock things down. So if he's looking or she's looking to build this up right now, it's a sense, it's a feeling of, you know, let's build the foundation or let's, let's do the work. Let's do the work. Let's do this together. A uh, girl with a snake, an um, empath and narcissistic paradigm. Okay. Being charmed or used. Yeah. And you don't want to be used. You know, it was this feeling of, I, you only wanted one thing. And that was the understanding that this was just a physical connection and we weren't going to have anything more. And that's what you, this person kept telling you. And, but something shifted in them, something has changed in them. And now they want more. Now they're, they don't want you to be with somebody else. They're the thought of you being with somebody else tells me that they have feelings for you. I have having cups of coffee that's coming into me as like waking up, you know, like maybe in the past they would come over for the night, but they would always leave, you know, they'd leave in the middle of the night. Um, they'd leave, you know, after you guys were um, done being intimate or something like that, but now they're staying and they're having breakfast with you and they're hanging out and it's like, it's turning into something more. So it's almost this feeling of like, I want to hang out with you. I want to spend more time with you. I want to do other things other than just be physical with you. I want to be a couple. I want to do things with your friends. I want to start to see your friends. So all of a sudden there's like this transition into we're a thing, you know, we're becoming a thing, um, a heart with a key, welcoming love, the one opening up their heart, opening up, realizing that we're perfect together. So you know, the right one comes along and the right one can change a player's mind. I mean, everybody will say, oh, once a player, always a player. That's not true. They're a player because there hasn't been that one person that that's the only person that they want to be with. And I do feel like that's what's happening here is that this player has um, is realizing that they have feelings that are surfacing that they've never had before. And it's all because of you. So something has shifted with this player, something big, big shift, big shift. Um, it's like we're star-crossed lovers. Will we ever make it work? I think we can make it work. I think that once one of us like gives in and says, yeah, this is real. These are real feelings. I wasn't expecting this. I didn't think I was going to fall for you, but I'm definitely falling for you. And it's something that I do want. So I always hope to have you in my life. I want you in my life always. That's nice. I want to dance across eternity with you, a sense of I want this forever. I don't want this to go away because it feels magical. It feels wonderful. I feel like you guys lift each other up and I feel like there's a sense of um, synergy, like this very strong, not just passion and chemistry, but a very synergistic connection that we inspire each other and motivate each other. And we're just really good for each other too. I know that you know I'm hiding deep feelings for you, and now I'm stuck. So this person's been really, really good at holding back. This person's been really good at, you know, putting on a show of, you know, this is all it's going to be, and I don't really can can't really give you much more, um, something like that. But I got to tell you, I, I feel like they're going to spill. I, I feel like they're ready to spill their guts. You know, they're going to let you know. Uh, you're the only person in the world who really scares me. This is the first time in my life I've ever felt this way. It's the first time in my life that 
you know, somebody I know could truly, truly break my heart. Um, so you got, you got, you got your hooks into somebody and this person scared that you, you know, you do have their, your hooks into them. It's, it's a, um, in a good way, in a good way, you're not doing it, you know, manipulating this person, you love them and you care for them and you just want them to love you back. So I feel like it's a crossing over. It's a turning point. Um, it's, it's somebody realizing that, you know, this is, too good to be true. And I don't want to push this out of my life either. So let's see what else they're saying. It's gorgeous. I have a two of wands. Like what's our future? Where do we go from here? Three of cups. I'm going to tell everybody that I, I feel like somebody's going to say something like, I want to be a thing. I want to be a real thing. You know, like, I don't know, call me your partner, call me your boyfriend, call me your girlfriend, you know, whatever it is. But it's a feeling of, you know what, I, I think we're going to be really happy. And, and everybody's happy for you. Everybody's happy for you, your friends, your family. Um, it, it's almost a feeling of everybody else saw it coming, but you guys, and everybody always thought you'd end up together, but you guys. Um, so it's almost a feeling of like, you know, you were supposed to be together you had to put some things from your past behind you. But there is a feeling of I just always knew I'd end up with you. I always knew that we would we would be together. You're the only one I've ever really wanted like this. I've never wanted or craved anybody the way you are. Like you really are my prize. You are the gift that, that I've been praying for. And I, I, I do feel like there's a little bit of everybody else around you saw this before you guys. I like that. Um, why did you fight it? You probably both fought it three of three of wands. You probably both thought, you know, it would never work out or you probably thought there was something else out there. Um, but it's always been in front of you is how I feel like this person has either been put in front of you for a while or it's been um, kind of this ongoing energy that's been building for a long time. Everybody else around you has kind of noticed it. Um, and you guys are the last ones to almost admit your feelings. But I like the star in the respect of I never gave up. I never gave up hope that maybe this is it. This is the real thing. This person is really um, ready to give up a lifestyle or um, you know, independence or singleness, um, and in hopes to just share a life with you. So I'm going to go with that for now. Let's see what the feelings are. You're the most beautiful thing I keep in my heart. So I have no doubt in my mind that this feeling of, I just, I want to say, I hope it gets better and better. I feel like you've loved this person for uh, probably since day one, um, and you've just been waiting for this person to kind of come, you know, come around. I've never wanted anything more than I want you. So, you know, can we plan this future together? Can we, um, where's my celebration? Where's my, where's my pay, my uh, wand? Yeah. My queen of wands, you know, this, this feeling of you're the one I'm passionate about. Okay. You're the one that I want. You're the one that I think about. I don't want to be with anybody else. You know, the, the player who gets captured, who doesn't want to be with another person. It's, it's you know, when you're in love with somebody, you don't want to be with somebody else. You, you only want to be with the person you're in love with. You know, the thought of being with somebody else is a turnoff. So, this is this is somebody saying you're I never wanted anything more than I want you. And that's the realization that's happening. We do belong together. I love that. I feel your energy all around me. So there's great synergy here. There's great chemistry. We make a good match. Maybe other people saw it before the two of you. <laughs> Maybe friends, family said, you guys are meant to be together. You know, why are you guys fighting it? Why, why don't you guys just give in? Something like that. But um, I think you guys are going to be really happy together once we both have crossed this line into, I know that this is a worthy love and I know that this is something that we're meant to be together. Let's get one more message you make my heart happy. You make me feel good. You make my heart happy. I love that. So let's put this out into the universe. 
I want you to be happy with your person. And I wanted to go into a deeper connection. I want to thank Spirit for this reading today. If you're new to my channel, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you for your kind words and comments. If anyone would like to book a private reading with me, please go to my website, Kathy Mamelin, psychicmedium.com.